Hello and welcome back to Humans and Society. This video focuses on the topic Family Relationships under the subject Personal Development. The family is the basic unit of society. This is the first type of relationship that a person forms. Every family is unique, with different values, traditions, beliefs, socio-economic status, and religion. But no matter what dynamics or interactions a family has, all families serve certain functions. The family is an institution recognized to perform the duty of procreation. This ensures the continued survival of our species. Caring for the children includes taking care of their needs, like food, shelter, clothing, and education, until such time that they are able to economically provide for themselves. Material provisions does not answer all of a child's needs. Love holds a great importance in the family. It is what can drive members to do anything for the welfare of each other. Social interaction with members of the family and with other people that the family associates with helps build social ties, develop language and behavior, and promote learning. The family offers stable companionship or the feeling that you are not alone in the world. Everyone needs a secure base, a safe place where you can draw support, comfort, and reassurance, especially when life becomes challenging. Before we continue, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell for notifications. Comment below for topics you would like to be discussed in future videos. The sociology of the family classifies two types of families. The family of orientation or origin, which refers to people who are related by blood or legal bonds. This is the family wherein the person was raised, and it includes one's parents and siblings, as well as grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins. The family of choice or procreation refers to a family that is created by two or more people, usually through marriage and birth or adoption of children. It may also refer to non-biologically related groups of people established to provide ongoing social support. There are two types of family structures. The nuclear family, composed of parents and their children, and the extended family, composed of other relatives like grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, and in-laws. The changing family dynamics has identified other types of families, all equally important as the traditional ones. We have the single-parent families, the blended family or step-family, adoptive family, foster family, same-sex parents family, childless family, common law or domestic partnership family, and other family setups. How you were cared for by your family makes a significant mark in your development. It affects how you function, behave, and relate with other people. Child rearing reflects the kind of parenting style exercised by parents. These are patterns or ways which parents raise their children. Dr. Diana Bomrand, a psychologist who studied parenting styles, identified three broad patterns as authoritarian, permissive, and authoritative. The authoritarian is characterized by the rigid or demanding parenting style. Parents will be very strict and expect their children to follow them without question. They do not tolerate misbehavior and do not hesitate to punish, 
to control behavior. The opposite of the authoritarian is the permissive type of parenting. Parents of this nature are very giving to the point of spoiling their children. They tend to be warm and loving. They have few expectations and minimal limitations. They allow their children to be part in making decisions in the family. The third kind of parenting is considered balanced. Authoritative parents are authority figures who set clear expectations for their children. They set reasonable limitations, yet they also give them room for independence, provide them emotional support, and respect their point of view. They likewise empower their child to exercise decision-making. Further studies from psychologists Eleanor McCoby and John Martin identified a fourth parenting style, the neglectful. Neglectful parents are not involved in child-rearing. They may provide for their children's needs, but are emotionally detached, unsupportive of their children, inconsistent, and unpredictable. There are certain events that create a huge impact on the family. It may change the status, dynamics, or finances that affect the family life. Some of these are separation or divorce, traumatic events, stresses, death, and violence or abuse. Relationships need work. Being close and familiar is not enough to make each other loved. The family has to be continuously nurtured and strengthened. To nurture the family, we need to give it TLC. Time, love, and commitment. We need to spend quality time with our family and fill it with good memories. As everybody loves and needs to be loved, the family should be the first place to show it. And by being committed, you put the health, well-being, and happiness of your family first. Feelings of worth can flourish only in an atmosphere where individual differences are appreciated, mistakes are tolerated, communication is open, and rules are flexible. The kind of atmosphere that is found in a nurturing family. The ideas discussed in this video are based on the content standards of the Department of Education. Thank you for watching and see you in the next lesson.